हम शांत चाहते हैं ये तो दुनिया ने देखा अब दुनिया ये देखेगी कि हम शांति की रक्षा के लिए और अपनी शक्ति का भी प्रदर्शन कर सकते हैं दीज आर वर्ड्स ऑफ फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर लेट पंडित अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एंड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इंडिया इज फॉलोइंग दिस प्रिंसिपल इन द इंडियन ओशन रीजन Hi and welcome to TFI English the national socio political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group I'm your host Apurva and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates Coming back to the story in this video let's understand how New Delhi is asserting the Indianness of the Indian Ocean to Beijing so let's begin There was a time not too long ago when the Indian Ocean and India used to be synonymous for the people of India The common perception was that the Indian Ocean solely belongs to India This was accomplished through trade and navy in the region However over the last few decades the picture has started tweaking as other powers specifically China are challenging India's dominance in the Indian Ocean region and a strange kind of South China Sea type race has begun in the region but this time India is asserting its supremacy Beijing was trying to repeat the misadventures of the South China Sea in the Indian Ocean region While the whole world is fearful of China India has given a strong message by throttling China's jingoism After India's objection Sri Lankan President Ranil Wickremesinghe asked China to defer the arrival of the Chinese military vessel as he made it clear that even if the Hambantota port has been leased off by the Chinese Sri Lanka cannot allow it to become a strategic hub of the paper dragon With this muscle flexing India has not only shown China its place but has also persuaded the neighboring country to fall in line The action against China was necessary as New Delhi cannot allow a strategic hub of the paper dragon in its proximity. The Indian Ocean not just has ample resources and minerals buried under the seabed but is also a geopolitical keystone and strategically crucial. To add on to this guarding the Indian Ocean region is a necessity for New Delhi. India has a coastline of 7516 kilometers and an exclusive economic zone of 2.03 million square kilometers talking about volume over 90% of India's trade and talking about value 70% of trade is transported through waters India is a net security provider in the Indian Ocean region and India's firm presence in the waters is not only necessary for New Delhi but for the entire world The Indian Ocean region comprises of continental Asia, continental Africa, the Indonesian archipelago and Australia among other island nations. India has been in talks with the Philippines, Malaysia and Vietnam regarding defense deals and hence there are growing military ties in the Indian Ocean region. Although diplomacy is tough, India is busy achieving its goals through the principles of diplomacy only. With a diplomatic edge having Dr. S. Jay Shankar as the caretaker of foreign policy, India is looking at realizing its goals such as the Look East policy, Indian Ocean Rim Association for Regional Cooperation, BIMSTEC and Ganga Mekong Cooperation. To add to this, India has a firm grip on nations like Maldives and Singapore and is heavily investing in Andaman and Nicobar Islands in order to convert them into a strategic base as i started we as a nation are very peace loving but we can demonstrate our power in order to protect our peace and the necklace of diamonds and double fish hook strategies of indian forces stand in a deposition for the same 